what are the common reasons of error 1 and error 7 in TWRP recovery or while flashing a custom ROM on your Android device? That is the topic of discussion for today's Android custom ROM basics and I would like to thank the developer of Oxygen OS for the POCO X3 Pro which is Amak for letting me know about this idea and we do need to pass on this information to the users so that they are knowledgeable enough and of course this is not a comprehensive list this is just some of the most common scenarios which might occur with you the first reason for error 7 is that your download file is corrupt which is why it is recommended that you check the md5 of the file before you flash it most websites which include android file host bling sourceforge all of these websites do mention the md5 for each of the files so here is an example this is the awaken rom for redmi k20 pro and if i tap on this i button you will notice this here is the md5 how do you check the md5 on your phone itself so i just went to the play store and downloaded the first application which showed up when i searched for md5 checker so no affiliation with the app nor am i promoting it feel free to use any application which you want to so open this application hash right and you have multiple options right hash a text hash a file and then from the drop down select your hash this here we selected md5 and then tap on this this will take you to your internal storage and select the file that's it once you select the file select ok it does take some time but here it is this is the md5 checksum of this file which i have downloaded on my device and it is the same as what we have on the website of source forge so here it is b168c you can obviously you know take screenshots and compare it but it is exactly the same so this means that the file is not corrupt now instances have been wherein people you know you have data limits and you pause the download midway and then continue it the next day that is causing issues for certain websites and the md5 gets changed the file is corrupt and then when you try to flash it in your custom recovery you get error 7 so again make sure you verify the md5 checksum before you flash any file and of course if the developer hasn't mentioned the md5 feel free to ask them i'm pretty sure most developers out there would be more than happy to give you the md5 of the file in case of any corruption issues or to avoid issues for themselves in the first place now next up another reason of error in twrp while flashing a rom is this so this in some roms shows as error one some might show it as error seven now if you read this it says here this package requires firmware from android 10 based miui build please upgrade firmware and retry so the rom which we are trying to flash this here is awaken os and i'm flashing it on the k20 pro so this rom wants the firmware from android 10 whereas today morning i flashed the k20 pro with miui 12.5 which is based on Android 11 for this specific device. So again, there is a firmware mismatch, which is why we are getting the error. Now, of course, the message might here can be a bit misleading, which says, please upgrade firmware and retry. It could be changed to say, please be on the correct firmware, because right now, at the time of recording this video, Android 11 firmware is an upgrade to Android 10 firmware. So again, reading the message helps and once I downgrade back to Android 10 MIUI 12, the ROM should flash without any issues. Next reason for error one or error seven is if you try to cross flash a ROM meant for one device onto another device. Now, before you ask me, why would anybody try this? Yes, there are people, there have been instances where this has been tried, which is why rom developers have had to add the option of checking for the device so here it is poco x3 pro i am trying to flash a rom from the poco f1 on this device and as you can see i am getting error one and if you read it it says the package is for device beryllium this device is yu so beryllium is the code name for poco f1 and yu is the code name for the international variant of the poco x3 pro before you ask me why do they not mention the simple names with which everybody knows the device that is because 
they are getting this information from the bootloader and the code name is what helps them recognize so this is another reason for error one or it might show up as error seven as well next reason for error one or error seven is related to devices with dynamic partitions or say something called a super partition in those devices if the system system underscore ext product vendor and odm if any of these partitions is mounted and then you try to flash a custom rom you might get an error and why is that that is because if any of these is mounted then it is not able to change the super partition and these are part of super partition so again if you're flashing a custom rom on your device and you know it has dynamic partitions and the super partition make sure that before flashing the rom you can go into the mount section and make sure none of these are checked so system system underscore ext product vendor and odm and there it is peeps those were the most common scenarios which i know about in case you know about some of the scenarios which you faced feel free to mention them in the comments on this video and we can update the pinned comment on this video accordingly so that it is helpful for everybody else as well